In this episode we are going to learn how to create an orthographic camera in Panda 3D. So by default Panda 3D uses a perspective camera or a perspective projection. And I'm just going to demonstrate uh, the difference between the orthographic and the perspective. So Blender also uses perspective projection or perspective, perspective camera by default. And if I'm going to duplicate this cube, so shift D and I'm just going to move it on the Y and also I'm going to move it on the X axis a little bit back. So if I go to this view, as you can see, in perspective, everything which is behind or in the background is smaller. But if I switch to orthographic view with, with the uh, number five, now the two, two cubes are the same size. So in, or, in perspective, you see in the distance, uh, everything which is far in the distance gets smaller. And uh, so in perspective. And in orthographic, everything has the same size. And if you want to learn more about this, I recommend you to go to learnopengl.com because this is the best resource uh, if you want to learn uh, 3D stuff. And it doesn't matter that it teaches OpenGL because Panda under the hood it also uses OpenGL and I think also DirectX. So and if you go to the getting started and uh, coordinate systems, here you will find the orthographic projection. So in the orthographic projection you have two planes, the near plane and the far plane. And between do these two planes you have the volume what uh, you see in, in, in your window, in your screen. So everything which between in these two planes are visible. And the viewing volume has this box shape. And if you scroll down you will see the perspective projection and in the perspective everything gets smaller as it gets farther from the view into the distance. And the perspective projection uses this pyramid-like uh, viewing frustum. So you also have the ne near clipping plane and the far clipping plane and everything between those, these two planes in this frustum in this uh, part is visible and everything outside of this viewing frustum gets discarded. So gets discarded which means it's not visible to the camera. And if you ask uh, why, why uh, we should use uh, orthographic projection instead of perspective projection, um, if you are doing 2D games, you want to use mostly orthographic projection. Uh, not in all the cases, but in, in the most cases you want to have orthographic projection. So, and I'm also going to show you a panda scene. So I already prepared here. I'm just loading a cube 1 and a cube 2. And the cube one is is just a default library model from the models and slash box dot egg, setting it po its position to uh, on the x uh, one unit to the right. And here is the self dot cube two, which also loads the same model from the models uh, slash box. So uh, as I say, this is a library model, so it comes pre-installed uh, with Panda. And I'm setting here its position to negative 3 on x and 8 on y. So it puts it back um, 8 unit on the y axis. So as I said, the y is uh, into, the, into the distance from the camera. And uh, I'm also representing into the render. And here I'm also, also setting the default position for the camera to 0 and negative 5 on the Y, which uh, moves the camera a little bit back on the Y axis. So here in, uh, in perspective, we have these two cubes. And this cube is a little bit farther from the camera than this cube. So it this cube appears to be bigger than this cube. And if I move uh, 
I'm rotate this scene, you will see that um, you will see that this is eight units in the back. And also, if you search for technical drawings or also blueprints, and uh, if you click on the images, you will see that these technical drawings or uh, blueprints are also uh, drawn in orthographic view, so straight up down view. So orthographic projection are also used not just in the 2D games, but also in technical drawings and this kind of uh, stuff. So okay, let's go back to PyCharm and let's start to implement the orthographic lenses or the, or the orthographic projection. So here in number Line number three, I imported from Pranda 3D Core the orthographic lens class. And here I created or I instantiated an orthographic lens uh, object called lens. And I'm also setting here the lens.setFilm size method, uh, or with the set film size method, the size of the orthographic, uh, the, I mean, this size of the near plane, so the width and the height. So, and the width will be 16 and the height will be 9. Uh, why 16 and 9? Because I wanted to use a 16 by 9 uh, aspect ratio. So, the window itself is 1280 by 720, which is a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. So, that's why I'm using it as here also a 16 by 9. In line number 30, I'm setting on the lens object the near and the far clipping plane. And the near clipping plane is set to negative 50 and the far clipping plane is set to 50. So this, is, this was the size uh, of the near clipping plane and we also set the near clipping plane to negative 50 and the far clipping plane to 50. So between negative 50 and 50, everything will be visible. And outside of this uh, viewing volume, everything will be discarded. So like this box is outside of this, of, of this volume. And on line 31, I'm setting for the default uh, camera, using the camera.node, that set lens method, this lens. And now if I run it, now our two cubes are in uh, orthographic. So if I just going to move the camera or the rotate the camera, as you can see, this is still in far, uh, far in the in behind of this cube, but now it appears to be the same size as this cube. Here I also can set the film size to to be the same size as the windows width and the windows height, but in that case, so I'm going to set it to 1280 and 720. But in this case, the cubes won't be visible. I'm just going to show you. They are visible, but they are only two pixels uh, here in the middle of the screen. I, so, because this cube has has a size of only one by one by one, and, and uh, now the whole screen is 1280 by 720, so this one by one by one cube uh, uh, occupies only one pixel on the, on the screen. So I'm just going to show you these cubes. Uh, here it is. So here is a Panda 3D environment. And if I go to the uh, lips and the side packages, here is the Panda 3D installation. And in the Panda 3D folder, here are the models. And we loaded this box.egg, which is a pzipped file. And if I want to unzip this file, 
I'm going to unzip it here. Let's say create a new folder, call it test, copy this file to this test folder, close this window, open up a CMD window here, CMD, and just unzip this box.ec file so that we can uh, see it. So p and zip and p unzip is also just an executable which comes pre-installed with panda 3d so p unzip and box egg.pz so now it was unzipped to an egg file and if i open this up using sublime you can see that it vertices has its, it's vertice has only um, this size so it one by one by one on each axis so it's a fairly small cube so if you want to want to have this cube visible uh, using an orthographic lens uh, using an orthographic lens you have to either rescale your cube to be at, at least f to be 50 by 50 by 50 or something like that or you have to set your film size to a smaller value. So I'm just going to set the film size or leave it as it is, so 1280 by 720, which as I already showed you, uh, so these two cubes are occupying only two pixels in the whole screen. So, but after the set position, I'm also going to set this cube cubes uh, scale so self dot cube one that set scale and giving it let's say 50 so it will scale up the cube on each axis by 50 so 50 on x 50 on y and 50 on the z axis and now we have a much bigger cube and also going to do this for the cube 2 so self dot cube 2 that set scale to 50 uh, but now of course it is here or almost in the same position so i'm just going to move it instead of three i'm just going to move it let's say uh, 70 on the right okay so this was the orthographic projection and as usual this code will be uploaded to my github page and the link to that page will be in the video description